Ah, <laughs> them. Another nice galaxy. Um. Okay, hurry up and clear that, please. Who's Captain Englick? Eng Eng Engelick? I have no idea. So Death's Mother's base is that away? Let's lock it. Oh, look, floating crystals. It's obviously a moon of sorts. Yeah, look at that. Okay, gravity. Not where's the bloody ship gone? <laughs> We're going to see you there. It's six seconds ish. Uh, I can't see a thing. It's too dark. Oh, I just missed the first base part. Here he is. Kind of like a station area. And a ship. Not too far away. Built on a moon. Makes it look bigger on a moon. Higher on a moon. I don't know what the actual height is. Let's get landed. On the station part. I would like to say there's a big moon in front of me. But that doesn't sound right. Um, so the ship's over there. Uh, I'm not sure how high this is, but it actually doesn't look very, very high. 100 floors, maybe? 150? Can't tell. People don't put down how high these things are, and there's no altimeter. It should be a bloody altimeter. They're useful. Okay, so we've got the base computer on a dome. Nice. Okay. Followed straight out onto another landing platform. Um, there's another dome directly underneath. So it's placed upside down. <laughs> oh look, there are the power supply for this piece anyway. I don't know, because I can't see any blue over, but I can't see any hydra either. Let's have a quick look underneath. No, not that one. This one. So we got, whoop, whoop, too close, power supply and the batteries, four, six, five, and three. So six, it's a bit of an odd number. One battery per two is usually good. And as it's underneath, I don't think I can get to actually see it. So we get, let's see if we can find the battery. No, it's not coming up. So I can't tell. I could jump over and tell. <laughs> that might be a bit risky. Okay, so we are going to go to the ship now. As you can see, it's just a quick station type effect. Nothing here really. So we're going to get across to the, uh, the the DSS, whatever it was called. I forgot what it was called. Turn around. It's behind you, you fool. So here it is. Uh, let's get a bit of height here. Slow down. I land. I just caught that. That was lucky. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, get out before I'm shaken to death. Um, hmm. I think the landing point is a bit close to the door. Damn, that's a bit annoying. But, well, you know, we could try. Perhaps he never tried that. We got a red one. Okay, so here we have. A bit like, um, oh, mind, Voyager style. Two nacelles on the side. <laughs> and a couple of wires, I guess, wires. With a bunch of light bulbs. Have a look at that. He's put uh, teleport cables to here. And it's lit. That's... <laughs> okay. There's another one on the other side, I believe. Which would make sense. 
Um, it's like kind of like a... I don't know what to class that like. Because that'd be the direction it's going, obviously. Right, let's get back on the wing. Right. Um, oh, right. Race initiators. That's clever. It looks a bit like a sh the part of the ship. Oh, God. Low gravity planets. So the engines are at the back. What's that over there? I can't see it. Oh, this part of the race initiator. Oh, you fool. Okay. So there's the engines. Green. Green propulsion. <laughs> it's not. And then, of course, we can't get and use the door. Oh. Well, I'm not going to um, move a ship just to use the door. Must be a door on the other side, surely. Let's have a look. Okay, we're down because there's another landing pad. And there is the door. Ah, all right, an airlock. <laughs> an airlock. Antimatter reactor. Well, I guess that speaks for itself. Is antimatter reactor for the engines? Um. Electromagnetic generator. Oh, he's got an electromagnetic generator in there. Where is it? There, oh, there it is. I can see it. So the station has got solar panels. This is using. That's not bad. 217. It's very close. Probably only got the one then. Oh, so there's the Anderman. Looking out through the engines now. That's. Hmm. Well, okay, if there are engines, you wouldn't want to stand that close. Uh, wait, we've got a teleport. What else is down here first? Let's go this side. Okay, he's got uh, a weapons station. Probably using it for just to make it look like something else. Salvage boxes. A big bubbly thing. I still don't understand what it is. I know it's for, you know. What's the word? Decoration, but I never used one, so... Uh, oh, right, so he's on a power cell, is it? Um, not a power cell. Detector. I don't know where the jam detector is. Must be behind it. Yep, there it is, up there. No, that's... Yeah, no, that is it. It is a detector. Okay. Paraphernalia. To make it look like a ship. Um, <laughs> oxygenators. <laughs> okay, oxygenators. We need oxygen, won't we? We got those windows. I don't know. Something else I don't use. I just tend to use glass bloody squares. That's all I use. Easy. See the station from here. It's a bunch of weed. Holographic projectors. Uh, a bit like the star map, so they can pretend we know where we're going. I like kind of really, you know, trying to make things look like they're functional for something else. It's like clever, really. Uh, we got a large Captain Kirk chair with his <laughs> screens. Well, there's probably Sulu's position rather than Captain Kirk. Is it Sulu who drives or Chekhov? I don't know. Who drives the bloody thing? Okay. So, back down here through the weeds. Past the... There's the other wing. With my ship still on it, hopefully. Uh... Odd bits and pieces make it look like it's lived in. Good touch. We got a teleport. Oh, it must be two floors or something. It's going upwards. Or downwards. This one's going downwards, isn't it? So this is down. A light floor. Another bench. Has to do his alien probing in. 
Okay, red. Uh, bits of spare parts make it look like spare parts, I guess. Two green globules and another bubbly thing. A bubbly thing. Okay, and a flight of stairs. What back up? Ugh, weird. Oh, for a minute I thought I was looking outside and wondering why the stars were moving. <laughs> the bubbles made me think the stars were moving. Okay, so it looks like another sort of engine type room. Which is okay. It looks good. Is that whole one, the three rings, part of one thing, are they? Because I don't know. Like I say, I don't use them. My building is very, very tight. I don't put anything else I don't need in here. Standing, another bunch of flowers. Ah, sleeping quarters, eh? With a small wall between. Added privacy. Kind of reminds me of like when I went first in the Navy. Um, so what they got? All got sinks? Or whatever these things are. I have no idea what they are. Coffee machine. <laughs> Beer keg. Okay. So... Lots of beds. He's gonna have trouble sleeping because he's got a big green light bulb, <laughs> as well as a light. <laughs> okay. So I think we covered it. Actually, I like this place. I like aerial com uh, bases. There's one advantage for aerial bases that ground bases don't have. You don't get any grow back. So. There's nothing to terrain manipulate. Oh, that's that light bulbs. Right, well, I've nearly forgot my way out. Let's go out here. Now, where is the door? Here's the door, the airlock door. And of course, the ship is in the way. But as we're going back out the other way, that's okay. We'll jump in the ship get shaken to death and I'll see you later